let's get started. We're going to create our initial Photoshop file here, and then we're going to add our base image, which is our, it's essentially our satellite overlay that we created from the uh, LiDAR. So maybe you got that from somebody else, or maybe you created it yourself, but um, this is just the beginning point to get our file started in Photoshop. So let me go into Photoshop, and I'm going to come up here, I'm going to select new file. And you're going to select one of these. You probably don't have uh, maybe this custom one that I've done, right? So let me just pick one of these other ones, and I'll show you how to set this up. So I'm just going to click any of these. Let's do this guy. And I want to change my height and my width to 8192. Same thing here, 8192. I want to make sure that this is re uh, resolution is set to 72 pixels per square inch. And then all the other settings should be defaulted to what you see here, but just make sure that they are the same. We don't need to give it any particular name at this point. I'm going to hit create. And now I've got my, if you want to call it your canvas, which is 8192 by 8192. Now I want to add my satellite uh, overlay, my image here. So I can, it's essentially like we did in Inkscape. We're adding that image. So we have a, something to look at and, you know, how to, what we're going to manipulate. So it's really simple. We're just going to come in here. So this is my overlays folder. So when I created my overlays, remember we did a Bing overlay, we did a Google, we did an inners and outers. So I know that I'm using my my Rock Creek inner Google overlay is the one that I like the most. Um, so it's in this folder. I'm just going to drag this over here and drop it in. Now it might completely like fill the space up perfectly that you see here or you might have to manipulate it. So let me show you what you do if, if you need to manipulate it. So up here, first of all, um, you're gonna see that there's this little link thing here. We wanna make sure that is unselected because uh, we wanna be able to move this independently. And what do I mean by that? So if I grab a corner here, right? And if I have this linked, it's always gonna keep this square, which we do want it square, but we want this to be able to pop up to the corner. So now you can see my aspect ratio doesn't change. And look at my my width and height up here in the corner. See how it's getting bigger? As soon as I get up here to the top, it should snap into place and say 8192. Now, I got it. So that says 8192. So now I know when it says 8192 by width and height, I know that it has popped onto my canvas perfectly. I'm going to let that go. And I'm going to come up here. I'm going to hit the check mark to commit my transform. And now I have got this new layer down here called Rock Creek G, which is my satellite overlay, which is really my base overlay. And I'm just going to save this. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to say uh, save as. And then it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I want to save it on my computer. And here's a bunch of my overlays. I'm just going to call this one uh, Rock Creek Sat Overlay uh, underscore two tutorial because I'm doing this for the tutorial. And now essentially I have uh, my Rock Creek side overlay and my base image and I'm going to start building all my layers and stuff on top of this.